Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is um, AIP Vols and Pokes, and uh, today um, I'm here to discuss about um, Tennessee's um, violation recruiting and vacating the wins from 2019-2020 under former coach Jeremy Pruitt, um, the coach that we used to have back in past before Josh Heupel. Um, that's when I first became a Tennessee fan when um, Jeremy Pruitt was there back in 2018 when he first started and now. Um, unfortunately, um, the school officials, the NCAA, are asking uh, Tennessee to vacate the wins from 2019-2020. That, that is bullshit because they're not asking Tennessee to vacate the losses from 2019-2020. So, why vacate the wins? It absolutely makes no sense. I mean, they shouldn't do that. This is why I do not like Jeremy Pruitt anymore because he's ruining everything for Tennessee. He's just making the University of Tennessee look bad. I really want him to stay out of it. He should go get a life or something. Go go get he should go get a new hobby and not mess around with the University of Tennessee. I don't like Jeremy Pruitt. I don't I don't. I need him to leave the University of Tennessee alone. He's the reason why. The officials are asking Tennessee to vacate the wins from 2019-2020. And the Missouri coach, Eli Drinkwitz, even asked the NCAA officials to ask Tennessee to vacate the wins against Missouri back in 2019-2020. And that is so stupid. It's ridiculous and it's bullshit. I don't like it. Um... I hate it, man. Like, I I think I think overall Tennessee will be fine. I think Tennessee's recruiting will go fine, but at least Tennessee's not banned from Bogan because if they were, I would have been really upset if they were. But, um, you know, I'm not too concerned about the whole recruiting thing. I I still think we'll still recruit some good players, but. Uh, I don't like it. I mean, I saw a couple of people make the video about Tennessee's NCAA violations. Um, I, uh, I don't, I hate it, man. Like, like why, why did they ask Tennessee to vacate the wins from 2019 and 2020. Why does it matter that we used to have Jeremy Pruitt back then? We don't have Jeremy Pruitt anymore. Why does this whole thing matter? It's all back in the past. Ugh. Makes no sense. NCAA, screw you for doing that, but mainly screw, I'm mainly screwing Jeremy Pruitt because he's the one that's causing a lot of problems for Tennessee. Even today, he's he's just trying to cause problems. Um, I can't stand Jeremy Pruitt. I want him to leave Tennessee alone. I want him to be gone. Like, I'm glad he's not our coach anymore. He's he's basically gone from not being our coach anymore. But I know he's fired, which I'm happy about that. But uh, I can't stand Jeremy Pruitt. Um. It makes no sense to um, vacate the wins from 2019-2020. Why? Why does, why does Tennessee need to vacate the wins from 2019 from 2020? Why is that the case? Why? Why does Tennessee have to vacate the wins from 2019-2020. It makes no freaking sense. I mean, just because Tennessee may have violations or something, that doesn't mean that the NCAA officials should ask Tennessee to vacate the wins for 2019-2020 season under Jeremy Pruitt. No. 
No. This is stupid. This is all in the past. Why is NCAA worrying about this? Why is Tennessee, University of Tennessee, worrying about this? Why is this all happening? Um, there is no reason to vacate the wins from 2019-2020. There is no reason to do that. And also, there's no reason for the NCAA violation thing. Maybe Tennessee cheated on the recruit recruiting thing. I don't know. But all I know is that this whole thing should have never happened. Um, it makes no sense to vacate the wins from 2019-2020. It makes no sense to me. But anyways, comment down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the like hit the like button and comment down below and tell me what you think about all this drama of Tennessee. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Go Vols.